Alrighty guys, welcome back to another sweet tutorial. And in this video, what I want to do is basically get the cannon set up and working properly. I want to, first of all, we can just go ahead and drag it right around here. So again, we're going to have the cannon right here and we're eventually going to be making a tower out of blocks and trying to shoot it down. But basically, I want to make sure that the functionality of it is it's going to rotate to wherever my mouse is on the screen and whenever we click, it's going to fire a cannonball. So let's get it rotating properly right now. And we do that by heading over to the event sheet. And we basically want to tell Construct2 that wherever my mouse is on the screen, rotate this cannon to have it point towards that position. And this is how we do that. So we're basically going to be constantly checking for the position of the mouse. So in order to do that, add event, and whenever you want to check for something or make something happen constantly, you just add system every tick. This pretty much means do something constantly all the time. Now what do we want to happen? Well, the action for this is, well, of course, we want to move the cannon towards the position of the mouse. And for this one, it's actually rotate toward position. Now, of course, the X is the X position of the mouse and the Y is the Y position of the mouse. But this degrees parameter right here we have to deal with. This is basically the speed of rotation. And it won't matter a whole lot right now. Just go ahead and put 10 in and it'll run fine. Now for the X, the X position of the mouse is mouse dot X, which is the left and right. And the Y position is mouse dot Y. So basically you're saying move it at this speed and always point towards wherever the mouse is. Simple enough. Click done and then layout. Now actually we can run this right now and check it out. And now points towards the X and Y position of the mouse, basically wherever the mouse is. However, it has a couple weird behaviors right now. First of all, it's pivoting around the middle and cannons usually whenever you like build one and wheel it around it gets pivoted around the bottom so it can only aim in this direction and also one other issue is look at this it can shoot in the ground it could like go upside down and that's kind of weird uh, behavior so we'll fix that right now so what should we do first I guess uh, we might as well just limit the range of the um, cannon so it can't shoot upside down and towards the ground right now but before we start doing that what I want to do is pivot it correctly. So if you actually double click this cannon, you can see that the reason it's pivoting weird is because the origin is right in the center of it. However, we want to put the origin or pivot point pretty much right on that H somewhere. Right around there is probably pretty good. So move that, close out. Actually, you want to move that back so that your objects can move a little bit. And now whenever we run it, check it out our pivot point is looking sweet now a lot more cannon like um, movements and behaviors so the next thing I want to do is of course fix the issue of going upside down or anything like that now in order to do this I want to show you guys something look right here whenever I begin to move my mouse you see this mouse little parameter on this little bar you can see that wherever I move my mouse it tells me the X and Y position so the X position is of course that first number that's moving around and that's left to right and the Y position up and down the vertical is uh, that second parameter so let's go ahead and find the positions that what we want the first one is the X position so we'll say that I don't know like right above the cannon it looks like it's right around 120 pixels right there and the Y position it actually increases as you go down. The ground is right around 375, it's looking like. So we'll go ahead and use 120 and 375 to limit the range of motions. And then pretty much the cannon can only be pointed right here and the user won't be able to, uh, you know, like shoot meatballs into the ground or anything. So in order to do that, head over to your event sheet and since you already have the action of pointing the cannon towards the mouse, we don't want to add an entirely new event. What we want to do is actually highlight this event right here and add another condition. 
So in order to do that, highlight system every tick and hit C. This is basically saying that this is the same action that we want, just check a couple other things first, aka the Y position and X position of the mouse to make sure that they're in the proper area. So in order to do this, put system and it's compare two values right here, the first one selected. So the first value that you want to compare is basically mouse X. Basically see what position, the X position the mouse is in and we want to set this greater, might as well set it greater or equal to and you guys probably don't remember it was 120. So what this is basically saying is okay rotate the cannon towards the mouse if the X position of the mouse is greater than 120. Now of course we want to add one more for the Y position system compare two values. First one is mouse.y and remember since y increases as it goes down we want to make sure that it's less than the ground which me means make sure you're aiming it above the ground so for this make sure that y is less than or equal to and that was at 375 I believe so basically constantly make sure if the mouse is in the proper area which is somewhere around here pretty much the first quadrant that your cannon rotates towards the mouse so now if you run this game we can see that our cannon is limited to these range of motions right here it can't add directly or excuse me it can't aim directly in the ground and also if we go up too high or try to go backwards our cannon is not able to aim back there so pretty much anywhere where you normally aim a cannon, it's working properly. And also that pivot point is working sweet. So now that we got that, or excuse me, now that we have that cannon set up, we can start firing some meatballs from this biatch. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, well, we'll do that in the next video.